in this video we will be discussing that how to design a full order using a multiplexer so in this video we will be designing with we will be designing with a 4 cross 1 multiplexer here and then we'll in further videos i'll discuss how to design with 8 cross 1 and how to design with 2 cross 1 multiplexer as well so it is possible with any of the multiplexer so today we'll discuss with how to design with a uh, 4 cross 1 multiplexer in this video so before going to the multiplexer design first we need to write the truth table for the full order so what will be the truth table for a full order we have three inputs which is a b and the third input is c in and we have a carry and sum so sum is a output and i'll carry is a output so i'm writing in little bit of distance that will understand why why i'm writing like that okay so now the truth table for that 0 0 0 so all possible combinations i'm writing then 0 0 1 then 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 and 1 1 1 so these are all possible combinations if there are a three variable system is there and the outputs here will be so sum in this case 0 0 0 is sum is 0 carry is 0 here sum is 1 carry is 0 here sum is 1 carry is 0 here sum is 0 carry is 1 so here uh, your sum will be 1 and carry will be 0 in this case sum will be 0 carry will be 1 here sum will be 0 carry will be 1 and here sum is 1 and carry is 1 ok so this is my basic uh, design of the uh, full order circuit so that means this is my truth table now in this truth table so a b c and c in are the out uh, inputs and c out here i'll write c out is the output for carry and sum is the output for s s we are writing for sum now how to design with a 4 cross 1 multiplexer so i know that if there is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer i can only have four inputs there right so that will be i0 i1 i2 and i3 will be my four inputs and there will be two selection lines which will be s0 and s1 so keeping this four four cross one multiplexer in mind we will be designing our full order so i know that if i have to design a four cross one multiplexer then i need four inputs so what i will do is i am dividing this truth table into part of two so now what i have done here so this is i will take this as input one two three and four so that means i have divided into four parts here so the eight combinations that i had i can divide that into four parts so next we'll design for multiplexer here so how to design that i know in multiplexer one output will be there so i am writing the multiplexer output as y now see here multiplexer can give me only one output so for that if one output is there obviously for the two devices that means for sum and carry we need two outputs that means two multiplexers are required so here i'll write y1 let's say this is y2 so we'll be designing that for two multiplexers now so how to design so what is the process is i will consider that c in is my input side so c in i will connect as the input side to the multiplexer and accordingly we are going to design so first see here when c in is equals to 0 and the sum is equals to 0 here okay when c in is equals to 1 here my sum is equals to 1 here that means what i am getting here is if i consider my first input so that value will be equals to same as c in so i'll write like this next is if c in is equals to 1 then my sum is equals to sorry c in is equals to 0 then sum is equals to 1 if c in is equals to 1 then sum is equals to 0 in this case i'll write i1 which is my second input it will be c in dash right ok next is if sum is equal to uh, carry in c in is equals to 0 sum is equals to 1 and c in is equals to 1 then sum is equals to 0 so here also i will write i2 is equals to c in dash and the lastly if you see here when c is equal to 0 sum is 0 when c is equals to 1 sum is 1 so it is same as c i will write c3 is equals to c in there is no changes there similarly we will write for the carry as well so how to write that so see here whenever c is equals to i will use another color so if c is equals to 0 my carry output is equals to 0 whenever c in is equals to 1 my carry is equals to 0 here 
so that for the second multiplexer i'll write i0 is equals to 0 whatever the value of c in is there i am getting i0 equals to 0 so next is here i'll get i0 is equals to what is that when c in is equals to 1 c out is equals to 0 so when uh, sorry 0 and c in is equals to 1 my c out is also equals to 1 so in this case i'll write that is same as the c in so here also if you see c in is equals to 0 carry is equals to 0 c in is equals to 1 carry is equals to 1 here so i'll write so this is i1 i2 is equals to c in again and in the last case if you see when c in is equals to 0 output is 1 when c in is equals to 1 my output is equals to 1 so in this case i3 is will be equals to 1 okay now this is from the output point of view how to design the input or the selection line there so see here if i consider these two rows so i can say that it is combination as 0 and 0 okay so now this is what this is a combination where 0 and 1 is there so this is a combination where 1 and 0 is there so this is a combination where 1 and 1 is there so i can see that it is nothing but my s0 and s1 i can take okay so if i take s0 and s1 so i can get four combinations first combination second combination third combination fourth combination so <coughs> That means when S0 and S1 is equals to 0, 0, then I will get I0, when 0, 1, I will get I1, when 1, 0, I will get I2, when 1, 1, I will get I3 here, right. So, what is the point here? That means A and B are taken as S0 and S1. Now, with this table, we can design the uh, multiplexer here. So, uh, now I, I know that I have two multiplexers I have to design. So, this will be for sum, I will write this is a 4 cross 1 multiplexer and it is, it will give me the answer for sum and there will be another multiplexer which is again a 4 cross 1 multiplexer and it will give me the C out or the carry. So, here the Y1 output is there, here the Y2 output is there where Y2 is the C out or carry and the sum will be Y1. Okay. So, to both of these. I need to give two inputs sorry two selection lines that is S0 and S1. So, here also I will give S0 and S1. Okay. Now, here four inputs are there again. So, I0, I1, I2 and I3. So, this is I0, I1, I2 and I3. Similarly, for this one also there will be I0, I1, I2 and i3 here now what will be the connection so let us see that so we know that we have a input we will write a b and c so these are my three inputs for the sum so where the a and b are connected so a and b are connected to the this lines okay to the selection line so a is connected to s1 and b is connected to s0 similarly the same a is connected to S1 of the second multiplexer and your B is connected to the S0 of the second multiplexer. So, this is one. So, next is how to connect the C or C in here. Fine. So, see here for the sum for this particular sum. So, what will be my I0? I0 is equals to C in. Okay. So, I0 is equals to C in. Then what is I1? i1 is c in dash and i2 is also c in dash so what i'll do here i'll take a not get here and this one i'll connect to i1 and as well as to i2 so what is i3 i3 is here c in again so this c in it will be connected to i3 okay so now this that is for the uh, sum part now this will give me the answer as sum now what to connect to the carry part so for carry also we'll check so carry i0 is equals to 0 so i'll take 0 here so i0 will be connected to 0 okay so i0 is connected to 0 okay and you see here i3 is connected to 1 so with a not get i can connect that to i3 fine next what is i1 is c in and i2 is also c in so, what is C in available? So, C in is here. So, this C in will go and it will be connected to I1 
and i2 as well okay so now this is my 4 cross 1 multiplexer using 4 cross 1 multiplexer i have designed a sum and carry so this output will give me sum and the y2 output will give me the carry so let us check with uh, uh, whether it is working or not so let us take that my a b c is 0 1 1 in this case my sum will be equals to 1 and carry will be also equals to 1 so let us check whether the circuit is able to give that output or not so a b c is 0 1 1 so 0 1 and 1 okay now when a and b is 0 0 1 right so a and b is 0 1 that means 0 is available here and 1 is available here so 0 and 1 i am taking like that now in a multiplexer when a0 is 0 is g 1 and s1 is 0 then what will be my output sorry b is uh, right so 0 1 is there 0 1 means what will be the output so output will be i1 in this case so for combination of s0 s1 as 0 1 so the corresponding output will be i1 here that means here also will get i1 value that that will be equals to i1 here also will get i1 now what is the value of i1 see i1 is connected to c0 fine so c0 value is equals to what that means here i am getting 0 so i1 is equals to 0 sorry sum is 0 here so 1 plus 1 is 0 so sum is 0 so i1 is 0 that means here the output is equals to 0 now whether we are getting carry as 1 so i1 is connected to c directly so c value is 1 here so i1 is 1 here so this value will be equals to 1 so we are getting sum as 0 and carry as 1 here so this is how you can design a full order using a 4 cross 1 multiplexer in the next video we will see that how to design that using a 8 cross 1 multiplexer